Here we have this 36 Lures Sports Fisher. Well powered with twin diesel engines, lots of electronics, very nice condition here at South Mountain Yachts. Are you looking for a great all-around fishing and family fun boat? Then come with me for a quick walk-around tour on this 1998 360 Lures Tournament Sports Fish. She's loaded with fishing amenities such as built-in bait tanks and fish boxes, but she's got some family-friendly features also. She's got a nice boarding ladder. She's got stairs to the bridge, so even Fido can make it up there, which is very important as man's best friend. She sleeps for in comfort. She's ready to go. Very well powered with twin Yanmar diesel engines, so not only will she go fast, she'll go far and fairly economically. So come with me for a quick tour as we preview Mirad 3 on South Mountain Yachts YouTube channel. Here we are starting off forward starboard bow on Mirad 3. This beautiful 1998 Lures 36 Sports Fisher. She's neat and clean, loaded with features for both the fishermen and the family. Starting off here at the bow, we see we've got a nice windlass and a nighttime docking light right here to make those nighttime excursions that much easier. Our windlass can be operated from both the deck with those foot pedals or from the helm. Coming down along the side, we see just how beefy these rails are. Now this is an East Coast boat, so back there they use lower rails. Now here at the deck, this is one thing that I call an LLI, ladies like it feature. Just imagine some deck chairs or a nice lounge pad right there to enjoy the day. Because she is a blue water sports fisher, the bow, the four windows don't exist. That's done with the intention of taking on rough seas, keep the boat well protected. Coming down along the side, we see the solid rails. Access to the bow is nice and easy. We've got a wide deck right here. We also have grab rails all the way around, hand holds, so we're nice and safe. We've got oversized cleats right there. And coming back a little bit, we see we have our dual trumpet horns, our lures badge right there, and an extra sturdy cage, that's an aluminum frame, and then our outriggers right there. This gives us a view of the cockpit, and if you notice, we've got lots of in-deck rod holders for the fishermen. We also have an extended swim platform with a nice boarding ladder. So when you're done for the day, the kids can jump in. We have a nice overview of the cockpit right here. Let's go aboard. Once aboard the vessel, we see she's loaded with features. She's got a good sized cockpit. And then notice the gunnels, just how wide they are. As we move forward on the port side, we have this city water take on raw water and fresh water wash downs right there. 
Now people ask, what's, what's this? This is, gotta have a bait tank here. It is a fishing boat. It's nice and big, oval, has a light and a circulating pump in there to keep the live bait alive. Circling around, coming over here at the transom, we've got fish boxes right there, and you can put stuff in there. Access to the rudder posts are through that hatch, and there's also a bin for yet more storage. You can throw your kill in there also. As we move forward, a great feature on this boat is stairs. Not only stairs, but even more storage. We've got lots of storage in this space right here for all of our gear. You notice throughout we've got more rod holders. And here in the cockpit we've got our lights, got to have the music, and LED spreader lights. From here, let's go to the bridge. Let me point out along the way, we've got rails, so we always can grab on one hand for you, one hand for the vessel. Now here at the bridge, you can see we've got lots of space. Our seat here is about five feet long. Bring a couple folks along and yet there's more storage up under that seat. Here at the business side of the boat is our command and control center. We've got our sw swivel bucket seats nicely padded. Here at the helm, separate shift and throttles. We have our stereo trim tabs right there. Our video gauges, four and one. RPM gauges, starboard showing 1289, port is 1273, and then there's our other four and one gauge. Rocker switches are nice and clean. We've got our destroyer wheel right here, VHF radio, our Garmin. 7215 chart plotter radar fish finder and our autopilots down below this cage is nice and solid tubular aluminum and we have a macrolon that's the hard plastic enclosure on her circling around this gives us a nice overview and let's check out the cockpit View forward. Is, is a little different because the helm is so far back. That's designed for fishing the back down. But that gives us an overview of that deck. Coming around, there is the stairs, easy to go down, which is a great feature if you have somebody that's a a little bit challenged getting up and down and they're just easy if you have a dog they'll love to run up there and be right next to you from here let's go inside we enter the cabin through this heavy-duty slider and immediately we're in the salon if you notice how bright and airy it is, and as we step inside, we immediately have some storage cabinets here and down below. We have our L-shaped sofa right there, which also doubles as a sleeper. This cocktail table here can be used in a high position for dining or lowered as a cocktail table and filled in for a sleeper. We've got lots of headroom in here, probably six feet six inches, so 
for the tall guys, this boat is for you. Moving over to starboard, we see we've got our TV, which is on a swivel so we can watch it in the cockpit. We've got our weather center right there. Our starboard galley has lots of counter space to prepare all the snacks, clean the fish. Now you should do that outside. But a great place for snacks and just regular meals. Down below, we've got tall storage. We've got a brand new refrigerator and then drawers here. We've got a dual burner electric stove, microwave, and let's not forget the coffee maker. Good size sink, big windows, storage up above, right up in here. Nice thing on this, Lures, is this is all wood. It's not composite. Then as we move aft, we have our power center right here, our 12 volt, 240 volt, and 110 volt right there. Panning around, this gives us that cabin view. Moving forward through the foyer, we go down a few steps, and again, nice wood paneling right here. Immediately in front of us, we have our V berth, we call it a V berth, uh, with a nice solid door for privacy. Notice we have drawer storage underneath. The bed is almost seven feet long, and she's nice and wide for a couple people. We've got hanging lockers on both sides. Overhead hatch. We've got gunnel storage up in that corner. And yet, over here, we have another hanging locker. All the lights in this vessel have been converted. They're all LEDs to conserve power, keep the boat cooler. Our head has access from both the main cabin and the foyer. We see we've got a nice Corian style countertop, vacuum flush system with macerator discharge, and then a shower stall with a seat. This is fully lined fiberglass, easy to care for, easy to clean. It's nice and bright. If you notice, we even have a hatch right there. Off to starboard, we have this other little section right in here. This is all storage. This boat was optioned. You could either have a bunk cabin here or you could have storage. So originally, this is how it was laid out. You've got cedar lined lockers, lots of drawers, just lots of storage for gear. And again, this is all solid wood finishing on here. From here, we go back to the salon. Now, engine access is through the, those panels in the deck. Here we are down in the engine space on this 36 lures. As you can see, the whole floor area opens up for access. We're... As we circle to port, we see we have our Yanmar diesel right there. Outboard fuel tank, battery, fire extinguisher right there. There's our Raycor filters. And then right here we have our 50 amp battery charger. Inverter right there. Another battery off on starboard side. There's our Raycor. Now this vessel does have the oil change system right there. And she's well powered with these Yanmar engines. Circling around here. 
we get a view of our Kohler generator right there. The engine compartment is neat, clean, and organized. And here we are back in the main salon for an all-around view. This vessel is very neat, clean, odor-free. Viewer today, owner tomorrow at South Mountain Yachts. And be sure to check the website for current pricing and availability.